What's up, guys? This is the Steel Voice. Check it with you guys for another video. We're going to be talking about the uh, Steelers versus Falcons game. On fantasy, I already announced it. If, this is, if the Steelers lose this game, it's probably going to be my final time picking the Steelers in fantasy. Because I've seen this over if we lose. Like for crying out loud, the Atlanta Falcons are one and fucking three. They're fuck. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Just came back from the shower. And they're fucking crippled. You can't have none of that. The only we can keep our hopes alive is you don't lose one of these two games. We can't lose against the uh, Falcons. We can't lose against the uh, um, ooh. the Bengals in Cincinnati. Sorry, my eyes are a bit red. We can't lose to none of those teams. We can't lose to none of them. None whatsoever. Then comes the bye week. When I don't make his appearance. Thank God. But defensive wise. I pulled this terrible towel out for fucking reason. For the reason why I pulled this shit out. Bud Dupree and all you st all the still a freaking team. If you're looking at this, what do you see to the towels over here. You see here. What you see on the on this side of the terrible towel is a steel curtain. The greatest dynasty in fucking history. That's what you see right here. And we all want to be at a beast ass defense. What do you see to the left? On the gap here, you'll probably might see uh, the Blitzburg, which happened in the 90s, which is also a dynasty, not a dynasty, but it was also a great defensive team. But we didn't win the Sally because our office was shit. What do you see here? The two Super Bowls. Defense! And Big Ben, which Big Ben won two of them. That was also we won because we had a defense. Those two right there. This is the this team posed some of the greatest, if not the greatest defenses we had ever seen. And now we're a disgrace to that. Tell me how the fuck did that happen? Tell me out! I'm wearing a defensive player jersey. I'm wearing 92. I'm wearing James Harrison. This is all defense. The Steelers, it's jersey, the terrible towel, it's all 1,000% defense. Defenses. You need to change their. Act starting this fucking game. The defense sucks. Our season's over. We're not gonna win. Even if we do make the playoffs, we're gonna end up fucking it up because of the defense. And the offense? You need to get the run game. I told you this before. No, in my, in my other free, in the free game. We need. To, that was my, I think, my free game for week four. We need to get the run game going. The two, two games use James Conner, then Lady Abel is going to come back, we don't need to use him anymore. So, I admit, I, I pity you because you do not have a veteran guy to teach you all the lessons that you look like a lost ass motherfucker. But you're not a lost, lost ass motherfucker. You're just a, a misguided motherfucker. The other things on the defense are just some lost, invisible motherfuckers. Joe Hayden needs to play better. 
Last game I saw, I didn't watch the highlights at all, but I saw some play performance you did. Join. What the fuck did we sign you for? I know you, had, you, you end up having a bad game and shit. I know it happens. But dude, John Brown was like fucking 10 yards away from you. Come on, man. Like, come on. Come on, Joey. We signed you to be good. Now you're playing garbage. This one of is out. It sucks. You didn't have Matthew Thomas. Now Burhey, now, thank God, now fuck yeah, you're out of here. Now Burhey sucks. The nigga's trash. Nay Burhey. Nay Bumhey. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, fuck this man, he's trash. I need to get in front of this bum. Hey, Ben, you have not been playing the way you used to play. But that should start changing. Big Ben. I'm getting all of you, Big Ben. Last game in the prime time, you played like shit. Can't throw the your belt. Can't throw the two to the second half. The average is 50 fucking yards. The fuck is going on? Ben, you got to play better. Throw in a triple coverage. Are you lost? Are you also going to be part of the defense? The lost ass motherfuckers! We'll be part of them too! Come on, Ben! I've been champing your ass since 2003, the day you got fucking drafted, and now you can't do shit! Come on, man! You're the lead quarterback, and you're part of your damn Andrew Luck! Come on! Come on, Ben! Stop the bad garbage! And I'm the James Conner! But don't be fucking one dimensional, man. Just throw the ball all the time. And eventually, people will start reading that garbage. You need to handle the ball more often than James Conner, at least these two games. And we need to come up with wins for at least these two games. But the Bengals game will be results for another video. This game also an I feel. I'm just, I saw also one of the most tragic fan. Uh, I'll defend. I mean, I agree with the fans. If I saw if I was that week for an field and I saw we were doing not doing shit, probably in the second quarter, not doing anything, three and out, three and out, three and out, I would have did too. We fucking lost this game. Johnson Tucker was a good kicker. He's 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 up to and military and, and shit like that. Bob didn't reach that level yet. He didn't. This season, he sucks. He needs to make more field goals. And because, you know, the offense is back, Jones is back, Mama is back, Kyle really is going, you know, and all I further have out is like two members, like a member of the offense and two members of the defense. The Falcons are all out. All people that are out, and both of them are just and they were big. Nate Burhey's on an injury reserve, they fucking got Nate Burhey. I don't ever see this motherfucker on the field. Brian Allen's gonna probably come in. Magic Thomas is also gonna come in. These guys need to play. The defense needs to change. We're not generating no pressure on the quarterback. We're not doing anything. We're giving up big plays, we're giving up all that, and it's. Gonna be plays, all these types of fucking bullshit. It's making my fucking. You guys giving up big plays, the defense making my, it's making my skin crawl. They get all these stupid things. It's, it's putting fear to fucking steal the things. Cause he's gonna score. He's got Al's gonna be in the close game. We don't know what I'm done today. Me, Percy? It's making my dick dysfunctional. 
You got to make it give up and play like this. Make it my dick itch. I, I got to even scratch him right now. Come on. You, could, you, you got my prime man giving up a big play in fucking practice. Can't have none of that. But talk to this fucking defense. They like talk to a fucking brick wall. They like talking to Donald Trump's wall. It, it, it's not going to move. They're going to be fucking stagnant. They're not going to do shit. <clears throat> Steel Torres even made a, 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 a remark. Should we trust this defense? I don't know. I guess. It's not. Defense one day shows up. They haven't showed up that. The last time they showed up, this goal was 1.5 of a game. They showed up one in the, the whole game in Cleveland, and they showed up half the game in, against the Buccaneers. It's a 1.5. That's not a good stat sheet. How do I review the first month? That's the question. I got a 1, 2, and 1. So what I have to say is. The Steelers, they tell you this, for the first month of September, you have earned this finger. For the second month, that means we're in, a, we're in deep shit. When we reach the second finger, it means we're fucked. Don't let us reach, don't let me reach to you giving you guys the second finger. If this happens, our season's over. Le'Veon Bell's not going to save us. We need to build up a, a string, build up something. We suck. Run up against Atlanta. Let's hope we fucking win. We don't. Our season's over. My time's gonna have his first, probably his first full week season, and we're fucking done. We're not, we're not gonna do shit. So, Billy, how long is it? Oh, hold on, be finished. Be finished. Go, Billy, my dog, be finished. I'm not doing it, Apparently, I'm wearing 92. I'm going to be adding up to the window. I'm wearing the Steelers power. Steelers power. Steelers power, but now I even had to reserve going into black magic. I even had to reserve to the most unorthodox power that I have to use. The power of defense sucks. I have to use the fucking Slayer power. The Slayer power. Hold up. The Slayer power. I have to use that shit too. Because now we need to go double entendre. We need to go double tandem. Anyway, that's a cool Slayer show I, I just got. Well, I wanted to rent another video when, you know, probably December or my final tour. I'll be discussing, you know, the rest in peace Slayer. Play an hour to, you know, I, I Playing like the music and stuff like that, but I'll show you. Anyway. It's either we do something or we don't do nothing. I'll give my final thought to the Steelers to win this game. If we don't win, then don't, don't then just give up. One turn on is not a promising start. I mean, might reach the second finger in another two games. If we lose both of them, we're fucked. We're fucked. Okay, guys, so. Like, subscribe for updates, click the bell notification before we leave. Or the stealth is getting in. We're gonna do this. Since I'm using double powers. On three, we say still is. On six, we say Slayer on nine. We say win. Okay, guys, this is Steeler Slayer power time. Cause now we gotta win deep shit. And when we win, when I'm doing deep shit, I win Slayer to save us. Okay. One, two, three. Steelers four, five, six. Slayer seven, eight, nine. Win. Here we go, Steelers. Here we go. Fucking Slayer, man. Let's get this shit going.
Let's get this done. Let's get let's hope the power of Slayer and the Sterling combine together. Let's get this damn W. Okay, guys. Please. I'm pretty God we fucking